Okay, hey everyone. We are back for more Endless Ocean, and what do we have here? Let's see, there's Catherine, and she's saying something. Dad, I'm so sorry. All the work you left behind. I was just... I didn't mean... Huh? Oh, it's you. How long were you standing there watching me? What was I doing? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about things. <laughs> That's all. Listen, I'm kinda tired. I don't really want to talk anymore, okay? And we have new mail. So that was kind of a little cutscene. Something that Catherine's hiding from us. But anyway, in the last part we uh, went to the mermaid cave, it was kind of confusing and not very clear, so... And there's a few things that we kind of missed while we were there, so I think we might just go back there and kind of run smoothly through it. And, yeah, so... But here's a new bird. Short-tailed albatross. Mm, there's nothing else. So... I think we should just go there and kind of clear things up now, now that we know how to get through it and all. And we still have that dolphin to befriend and everything. Maybe recover some of the more, um, some more of those earthenware pottery shards. Mermaid dental. Now we're back in the cave. Okay, I think I've got a good idea of the Great Aqua Cave's layout. I had I have enough research data to keep me busy for a while, so feel free to keep diving if you want. Just come back to the Gabiana when you get tired. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find any more things that we kind of missed before. This won't be a particularly interesting part just because we've already been through the cave and whatever, but, um, oh, we got some new stuff. This must have been what our dolphin was going on about in the last part when we couldn't find, couldn't find him, but that was Randall's Pistol Shrimp, and this Tomiyama Shrimp Gobi. Tomiyama. Crazy name. <laughs> But, um, so, there was some kind of different fish that you can zoom in on, but I don't think, but let's find a way out. And my Wii remote just went dead. Crap. Okay, uh, I'll just cut it till I get my Wii remote back. Okay. Okay, we're back. That was really weird. My Wii remote just, like, went wacko. So I had to turn it off and come back on, so... Um, but we're actually gonna start at a different point. We actually got some mail, and then we're gonna, I think we're gonna check that, and then we're going to, um go back down into the cave. <laughs> uh, water shower. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Norisuke Takahashi, and I work at the Museum of Ethnology in Japan. Mr. Thorman contacted me about the pottery shard he found in the limestone cave. The shard in question is of Japanese origin and is between 4,000 and 5,000 years old. Of course, how it came to be in South Pacific Cave is something of a mystery. Perhaps this included the migration patterns of early Pacific Rim Islanders? If you could find other pieces like that, I would very much like to know. Thank you. So that's specifically what we're going to do, is we're going to go back and find the rest of the pottery shards. And there was those birds that we got in the last part, but missed because I had to log off without saving, so... So 
So here, instead of the other one, we got a spot build pelican. In, in, the in the beginning, we got an albatross, but we don't have it anymore. And here we have a lizard. Marine iguana. Those things are pretty cool. So let's just dive. And wait a minute. Um, I don't know if we already got this. Let me just check. Yeah, small fish photo requests. Um, hey, sea hippies. Remember when I talked about needing pictures? Well, I need them. I've been thinking hard about this. I even skipped my nap, and I came up with the perfect fish for showing off the beauty of Vanilla Lay's sea, sea life. I need a picture of a blue tang. I'm not in a super huge hurry, so just send me a picture when you're ready, and make it good. I want something that sends chills down my spine. Peace out. Okay, so that's another thing that we can show off is uh, fish photo requests, and we're actually going to advance the time until morning, just because I think pictures turn out better um, with tropical fish in daylight. Okay, so now we're back here, and now we can show off Let's find the blue tang Okay, so here we got some Let's see if we can get one that will take a good picture Because that's kind of at a weird angle, so Here's a good one Okay, so we just want to go to the camera And then we can we can uh, push plus to zoom in, or minus to zoom out, and it just turned at a really weird angle, so let's just zoom in. Then we can take it just to show you how good it is. And then so that's, yeah, that's pretty much just how you take a picture. It's probably not going to be the greatest in the world, but that just kind of shows off that right there. Can proceed into the cave once again. Okay. Mm, we already saw that, yeah. Okay. And yeah, in the daylight we have some new kinds of fish because this little speedy group here, that's something we haven't seen before. Japanese jack mack mackerel. these fish again just because we won't have them anymore. And no, let's not go back out like that one time in the last, or the last couple parts, I guess. That was so stupid. Let's <laughs> the exit. Oh, it's this way. Okay, there, we're not completely lost. Okay. So, like I said before, we're just gonna kind of run through, a lot, hopefully, a lot cleaner than before. Way. Can't find any more of those pottery shards that we may have missed before. So we're back up at the Great Column. So that's basically how you get to here without any confusion. Here 
we're back at this stalactite labyrinth. Stalactite. The, these are stalactites because the way I remember is I have to hang on tight to the ceiling and the stalagmites are on the ground which they might reach the ceiling. That's how I remember it. I think, I think one of the shards is this way. Whichever way is the dead end, yeah. Is there something shiny? Yes! Have these guys. Coral cod. Now let's go this way. See if there's any more shiny things. Maybe this is a new fish, maybe? Yes. Flathead fish. I can see where I got that from. Let's zoom in. And where's the fishies? Unless we zoomed in the wrong place. Oh, I think we already got these. So wait, let's head back to this room. And again, again, you can hear that little squeak, which is that dolphin. Sorry, I'm pulling up the map a lot just to make sure we don't get lost. Back up at the room pool and the manatees are a lot more active than they were at night. Here's some new fishies. Golden spade fish. It's a young one. And we proceed through the waterfall. Back in the white room. And now that we can meet the dolphin for the second time, it will become our friend. False color whale. So we got its. See, we got its second bit of information. And after we get that, then it will become our friend. Ooh, I like these things. And click on it. Hey! Hello! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Why are we glitching through it? Okay. Black spotted puffer. These things, I always thought that they kind of looked like dogs. Their faces. I thought they kind of looked like dogs. <laughs> oh, so annoying. <laughs> okay. And here's a new fish. Oh, it went off screen. Okay. Brown and white butterfly fish.
So now we ran through the cave just one more time just to kind of clear things up and make it a lot smoother. So, um, and we recovered another pottery shard. So that's kind of what our goal was. And then we can move on.